which helps give shoes to those in need. As we mentioned, two squads meeting out at center court. We're about to get this one started. Russell Robinson taking the tip for the Vikings. It'll be Jonathan Butler on the other way for the Comets. Butler wins the tip. It's back quickly to Easton Page. Page brings the ball across center court as Butler to his immediate left. Instead, he's going to hand the ball off to Herman. Herman works it all the way around the perimeter to the far side. Bergie now under the basket looking to drive the baseline is Mayville State. They'll kick it back out. Butler to Page. Top of the key steps just in front of the three-point line. Take a try. He comes up short as this one hits the front of the rim and is pulled away by Russell Robinson. Far side, A.J. McDonald streaks down the far sideline. He'll bring it to Russell Robinson on the opposite end of the court. And now Matt Kroplin will replace Robinson as he sneaks in under the basket looking for an open pass. Kroplin will float it in, then kick back out by Quentin Peterson. And now he will come out to give Aaron Dusky somewhere to give the ball to. Dusky inside the post, kicked out. A.J. McDonald tries for three, knocks it down. And A.J. McDonald must love playing against Mayville State because he just hits those three-pointers against this squad as he knocks down the first three points of the contest tonight. For Valley City, it makes it a 3-0 game. Vikings holding on the lead. Far side, here's Easton Page dribbling back the free throw line. Hands the ball off. Alex Herman looking for somewhere to go. Floats it inside. Turning around is Michael Lindsay. Lindsay decides he's going to take it all the way to the alley before kicking out. Easton Page tries again for three. This one mimics the last shot. Off the front of the rim, taken away by Aaron Dusky. Far side, he'll hand off to A.J. McDonald, standing on the Viking head. Recenters the ball to Aaron Dusky. Now to Kropelin, near side, standing on the shoulder. He'll get it all the way around the perimeter. Aaron Dusky floats it out. A.J. McDonald and Croplin will work it between themselves. Now Russell Robinson trying to get open under the basket. A.J. McDonald from the right shoulder takes a three. Won't be as lucky this time around. Bounces off the heel. Knocked into the hands of his uh, Jonathan Butler. Knocks it into the team hands of his teammate Andrew Berge. Berge now sets up offensively in front of the key. Michael Lindsay has the ball. Calls for Alex Herman to make a move. Decides better of it. He's going to sneak into the alley. Starts a spin move. Trying to get around. Peterson won't get there. Jonathan Butler now receives the feed on a bounce pass up off the glass good for two and Jonathan Butler has the first two points of the night for Mayville State makes it a one point contest Vikings leading 3-2, to two, 17 minutes and 51 seconds. A.J. McDonald, far side, stands on the Viking head. Then sets the ball into the center of the court where Matt Kroplin stands. On the right wing now, Aaron Dusky floats the ball to Robinson. He'll retreat back to the perimeter before giving it to Quentin Peterson at the free throw line. And Peterson feeling right at home here inside W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse as he knocks that down to give the Vikings a 5-2 lead. Easton Page being guarded tightly now. A.J. McDonald giving him no room. Comes up, takes a swat at it. Alex Herman there to help him his teammate out as Page had that ball knocked away from him. Mayville State going from left to right across the court. Page will receive the handoff from Herman. He'll reset the offense. Screen put on by Lindsay. Allows Page to run to the free throw line. Then kicks back out to Butler. Butler tries for three. Rims around. Taken away by A.J. McDonald. Right behind him is Andrew Berge. McDonald finally realizes that. Go with the crossover. Now he goes inside the three-point line. Nearly breaks the ankles of Berge there. Nice move. Misses the shot however. Dusky will get the rebound. Puts it back up. Swatted at by Quinton Peterson, but it's going to be Easton Page who grabs it for Mayville State. All the way down the court, he trips over the feet of A.J. McDonald, and we will have our first foul of the night here. It will go against Valley City, and that is against A.J. McDonald. So three points and a foul on the night thus far for A.J. McDonald. As we mentioned, A.J. McDonald, one of the four players who fouled out the last time these two teams met on January 25th. They do not like each other. This is a rivalry. Jonathan Butler denied by Russell Robinson, but he ends up getting a bit too much of Jonathan Butler, the officials say. And that will result in Butler headed to the free throw line and the first foul of the night against Russell Robinson. As Butler will look to get the scoring started here. For Mayville State, 86% free throw shooter. Solid free throw shooter, especially for center. Sends the first free throw up and in. And again, not the guy you want to get going here. He's already got two points. That gives him three. Five to three, Vikings leading the Comets. Still plenty of time. 16-47 left to play in the first half. Butler knocks down his second free throw for four points on the night. Five to four, Vikings leading by just one. A.J. McDonald on the inbound. Aaron Dusky, Quentin Peterson standing to his left on the near side corner. They'll work it to his right. A.J. McDonald, they'll work it around the perimeter now into Quentin Peterson. Rifles it back. Cropeland standing on the right shoulder. Feeds it to Russell Robinson. Right post. Now to Aaron Dusky. Driving all the way into the alley. Puts it up and off the glass. Two points for Dusky. 
16 minutes and 23 seconds remaining. 7-4. to four. Vikings have the lead. Mayville stayed on the far side. Jonathan Butler looking for somewhere to go with the ball just into this contest is David Olson. He works back to the top of the key. He'll give it to Michael Lindsay driving all the way under the basket. Nice little remove. Windmill, reverse windmill move as he puts it up and off the glass. Mayville State now continues to add to their total after Lindsay knocks down those two points. 7-6, Valley City leading by just one. They've already started off better than they did at Mayville State. The Vikings want to continue to add to this lead. Matt Kropman on the left wing. Works it back to center court. A.J. McDonald now sees an alley. Starts to drive in. Drops a couple defenders. Then kick back to Matt Kroplin. Kroplin head fakes. Gets past Lindsay. Will pull up. Take a shot off the right side. Rebound grabbed by Butler. Out to Easton Page. Streaking down the near sideline. Pulls up in front of the Vikings bench. Recenters to Lindsay. Lindsay starts in past Quentin Peterson. He'll kick it out around the Easton Page. Here's Alexander Alex Harriman who takes a shot. And Alexander the Great knocks that one down. 16 minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in half number one. Nine to seven now. Comets take the advantage. Matt Cropeland standing top of the key. Works to his right. Now back to his left. He'll finally pass it off to A.J. McDonald. Into the corner for Aaron Dusky. Who has the shot tipped by David Olson as he sends it up. Just enough to knock the shot off its target. It will bounce around the rim. Pulled away by Mayville State. Down court in a hurry. Here's Alex Herman with the ball. Hands it off to Michael Lindsay. Trying to work past Quentin Peterson. Drives to his left in the alley. Spin move. Peterson won't allow him the shot. It's kicked out to Easton Page. Looking for somewhere to go. Rifles it. Cross the court on the right shoulder. Jonathan Butler will reset it to Alex Herbert. He'll slowly pass to Easton Page. Mayville State working the ball to the near side in front of the Vikings bench. Page looking for somewhere to go as he's being trapped by A.J. McDonald. Four seconds. Peterson takes a slap at the ball. Three seconds. Lindsay takes the shot. Peterson denies it. And that's going to be a shot block violation against Mayville State. What a play there by Quentin Peterson to not give up. Swats at that ball. He follows it and Michael Lindsay pulls up. Tries to drive into the paint. Quentin Peterson gets a piece just enough to knock that ball back to the ground. It results in a shot clock violation and the Vikings take over from there. 14 minutes and 29 seconds remaining. In half, number one, Vikings trailing 9-7 to seven here to Mayville State. Early going to so this men's contest. Women fell to Mayville State earlier today. Talk a little bit more about that as we hit halftime. Far side, Ty Fields is just checked in, trying to receive the pass from A.J. McDonald and watch it go up and over his head. Gets a piece of it, but all he can do is tip it as it goes into the bleachers. Women falling in the contest earlier today by a score of 87 to 65. If you're just joining us, this is the men's game, second of a double header. Mayville State leading by two, nine to seven here over Valley City. Ty Fields just looking to even things up, looks up from the three-point line, actually would have given the Vikings the lead. A.J. McDonald slowing down now, three seconds, drives all the way to the alley, floats it up and over, Jonathan Butler, and what a basket by the clean Texas native. Five points on the night now for the Vikings. All the way in, David Olson denied by Quentin Peterson, who makes a serious statement there. To the far side now, Aaron Dusky will pull up. He'll hand off to A.J. McDonald. McDonald with the crossover looking baseline. Fed back to Aaron Dusky. Pulls up from the elbow for a three-point try. He'll come up just short on that one. <laughs> Rebound grabbed away by Josh DeWitt. He'll work it to the far side where Lee Dean, who's just checked into this contest for the Comets, will take over possession on the left shoulder. He tries to work around A.J. McDonald. We'll try a bounce pass. A.J. McDonald will have none of that as he sends it into the stands on the far side of the bleachers. It was a kick, however, so using one of the extremities he's not supposed to to block that ball away, but no harm, no foul. A.J. McDonald does have one foul in the game, however. Michael Lindsay on the inbound, able to find his teammate as Lee Dean gets free. Now bounce past Jonathan Butler, Russell Robinson keeping him behind the three-point line. Trying to find Dean under the basket is Butler. Put a little too much mustard on that one. Dean can't hold on to it as the ball goes out of bounds on the baseline. Into the game now for Valley City's Jeremy Ware. Cheyenne, Wyoming native, had four three-point buckets in the Vikings win against Presentation College. It was a perfect four-for-four four from behind the arc in that game. As the best free throw shooter for Valley City, Ty Pratt in the contest as well. 
Ware tried to give him the ball under the basket. Pratt couldn't hold on. Stolen away by Butler. Here's Josh DeWitt driving to the baseline, trying to get around field. Just will do so. He's in the alley. Then pulls up. Nearly should have had an open shot. He should have taken it right there. But one way or another, Mayville State holds on to the ball. Maybe what DeWitt was looking for. Michael Lindsay baseline takes a jumper. Comes up short from about 12 feet. Rebound grabbed away by Russell Robinson. 9-9. We're all tied up. 12 minutes and 27 seconds left on the clock. Jeremy Ware works the ball on the far side. Round screen set by Ty Pratt. Now to field just. Gives to A.J. McDonald. Work back to the far side. Ware and Field just working the ball between each other. Trap put on by Dean and Olsen. Ball will get out to Ware. He'll take a three-point attempt. Misses. Ty Pratt gets the rebound. Turns around. Sends it off the glass. Can't make it. Russell Robinson was there. He's fouled by David Olsen. He goes down to the court hard. And that will result in Valley City holding on to the ball. David Olsen with his first foul of the game. Paxton Loy checks into the game now for the Vikings. The five on the court. Paxton Loy, Ty Thielgis, Russell Robinson, Ty Pratt, and Jeremy Ware for the Vikings. They work the ball all the way around the perimeter. Far side, Paxton Loy looking for somewhere to go. Gets it to Jeremy Ware on the left shoulder. Starts to dribble in, pulls up at the free throw line. He'll pass this one back off. Alex Herman following Ty Thielgis now. 2-3 zone being put on by Mayville State. Jeremy Ware on the left wing. Works it back far side. Paxton Loy tries for three. Five seconds on the shot clock. Misses the bucket. Ty Thielgis literally punched that ball trying to keep it in play. And with his team, he'll send it into the crowd however, not what Pratt was planning on doing, but it will at least allow the Vikings defense to get down court and settle. Into the game now for Mayville State, number 30, Colin Fitz. Fitz was one of the two players to foul out for Mayville State the last time these two teams played. And it was battles under the boards. Quinn Peterson found himself in a little foul trouble. Ty Pratt's been known to be very aggressive too. Easton Page to Herman, far side down to Berge. Gives the ball to Lindsey. Standing in the far corner, Russell Robinson forces him down the baseline. Ty Pratt takes that drive away. It's kicked back out. Herman all the way around to Page. Far side looking for somewhere to go. Baseline taken away from him by Ty Pratt. It'll work back out. Michael Lindsey into the free throw line. Kicks out. Here's Berge for three. Comes up short, but he does draw the foul. Jeremy Ware's going to be hit with it. First foul of the night for Jeremy Ware. That's going to be three shots for Andrew Berge as he'll step to the free throw stripe. Bergie this year for Mayville State. 53% free throw shooter. However, he'll get three tries at this one. First shot is up and in. So Bergie with his first point of the night. It's a bit of a congratulations from Alex Herman, who stands immediately behind him. Taps him on the right thigh. That makes it a 10-9 game now in favor of Mayville State. Berge looking to make it a two-point contest. Misses this one off the right side. Now he will have one more, so he can still make it a two-point game. As Quentin Peterson checks into the game now for Ty Pratt. Aaron Dusky will also come in. He'll replace Russell Robinson. Dusky coming into the contest. He's got two points. Berge sends the third free throw up and in, and Berge now with two points in the game makes it a two-point contest. 11-9, Comets with the lead over the Vikings. Paxton Lloyd, far side of the court, dribbles it across the timeline, gives to Aaron Dusky. Berge matches up with Dusky. Dusky will now work the ball around the perimeter. Ball swatted out of Ware's hands by Alex Herman. He's going to get the steal here. Now he heads down court in a hurry. Page driving all the way to the left post. Then we'll feed it back to Lindsay. All the way around the perimeter. Here's Herman with a try at three. Comes up short. Ball bounces on the baseline. Saving it is Colin Fitz. But Mayville had already retreated and was down on the other side of the court. Vikings will take that nonchalantly down court. He was four for four last week. Jeremy Ware gets the opportunity this time. And he doesn't even think about it. Setting down the first three-pointer of the night for himself. Second of the night for the Vikings. It gives the Valley City State University Vikings a one-point advantage. 12-2-11. Ten minutes remaining here in half number one. Dusky on the far side tracking down Lindsay, driving all the way into the alley. Lindsay gets around. Dusky puts up a shot, misses, fits, rebound, put back, good for two. 
Colin Fitz allows the Comets to retake the lead, 13-12 to over Valley City. Here's Matt Crumplin with a chance at three. Swish is the only noise heard here inside W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse as he knocks that one down, and Matt Crumplin with his first three points of the night. Far side, Easton Page works the ball back to the top of the key. Michael Lindsay will give it to Alex Herman. Herman looking to his left, taking a couple swats at the ball. This Matt Crumplin won't get to it as Mayville State will work the ball all the way around the perimeter under the basket, driving in Colin Fitz, who sends it off the glass for two more. Four-point night for Colin Fitz. Ties the game up at 15 apiece. Aaron Dusky on the far side works it back to Paxton Lloyd. Right shoulder. Looks for a three-point shot. Head fake. He's going to bring it back across. Matt Cropeland now on the far side corner. Pulls up for three once again. Two in a row for Matt Cropeland. Six points for the freshman from Grand Forks Red River and a timeout taken by Mayville State. We'll take one as well. Vikings leading 18-15. 9.09 left in the first half of play on Dakota Dakota Country Radio. This is 60 Seconds. We'll be back on 1490 KOVC. Are you looking for a financial representative who is different and who truly understand what's important to you? Consider Thrivent Financial for Lutherans. Our focus is helping you to be wise with money and live generous lives. Thrivent Financial and its members gave back $175 million to communities, congregations, and individuals in need in 2011. Join us to experience the Thrivent Financial difference. In Valley City, call me, Dave Bjornson, your Thrivent Financial representative at 845-2894. Registered representatives for securities offered through Thrivent Investment Management Incorporated, member FINRA and SI. Miller Motors, your five-star dealer in Valley City, has the perfect vehicle for you. Come shop their huge selection of new and used vehicles, and they'll help you get exactly what you're looking for. Don't waste your time shopping around when there is just one easy stop to make. Miller Motors in Valley City, your Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, Jeep dealer. Give them a call at 845-2780 or check them out on the web at MillerMTRS.com. That's Miller Motors, located on West Main, Valley City. Welcome back to W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse. Men's basketball in action right now. Vikings hosting Mayville State in the North Star Athletic Association matchup. Vikings looking to get their fourth conference win of the season. Mayville State looking for their first right now. It's the Vikings with a three-point lead, 18-15, over the visiting Comets. Nine minutes and nine seconds remaining here in half number one after the three-point bucket second, I should say, of the night by Matt Cropeland here in half number one. A timeout was called by head coach of Mayville State. State Dan DeWitt. We want to talk things over, try and stifle a little bit of the momentum here as Valley City was getting the crowd into this game. Eight minutes and 57 seconds left. Michael Lindsay has the ball in his offensive zone. Gives the ball off to Easton Page. Page works back top of the key, working to the far side. Ball worked into the paint. Colin Fitz will kick it back out. Michael Lindsay tries from three. Aaron Dusky more than happy to take that off the heel of the rim. Played to the far side now. A.J. McDonald for Valley City as he sets up in the Vikings offensive zone. Austin Rambo has just checked into the game for Valley City. Rambo with a big 12-point night the other night against Crossroads College. Looking to continue that action. Gives it out to Matt Crowblin for three again. He can't miss. Matt Crowblin on fire. As he knocks down his ninth point of the contest with that bucket. Ball worked all the way around the perimeter. Here's Alex Herman to the far side. He'll give it off to Andrew Berge. Easton Page brings it back to Herman under the basket. Colin Fitz trying to back down Quint Peterson. Peterson has none of it. Forces the pass back outwards. Tipped by Austin Rambo. Goes over the head of Andrew Berge and is out of play. Mayville State will hold on to possession. David Olson checks into the game. He'll replace Berge. Michael Lindsay will have the inbound. Comes back into Easton Page. He'll reset on the offensive zone for the Comets. Looks to his left. As Alex Herman, but thinks better of it, gives it to Michael Lindsay standing at center court. Now he's going to receive it. Easton Page will cycle around. Double team faced by Cropeland and McDonald. Forces the ball under the basket. No shot taken. Finally, it'll be taken by Olsen. Bounce off the right rim. Vikings get the rebound out to McDonald in a hurry. He's down court. Takes a shot. Rims around. Taken away by Mayville State. All by his lonesome as David Olsen. And boy, what an impact dunk that one was. As he goes up and shakes W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse with a pass. Powerful bucket. 21 17, however, Vikings holding on to the lead. Trying to put a bit of a stranglehold on things. Matt Cropeland, right shoulder, wanted another three point try. He's been three for three on his last three attempts. Far side, Dusky tries to spin around his defender. Colin Fitz, however, will drop him to the court. And the foul is going to be called on Fitz. No, oh, excuse me, that was not against Colin Fitz. It was against David Olsen. It was right there as well. 
It is the second team foul against the Comets. Valley City have three against them. Kropa no-look pass into Austin Rambo standing deep behind the three-point line. He'll rework it to A.J. McDonald, who's more used to affairs behind the arc. Hale handed off to Aaron Dusky. Dusky being marked up by Herman. Works around a screen set by Peterson. Austin Rambo far side on the elbow once again. Josh DeWitts just wanting Austin Rambo to take that shot. Ball being fed in by Cropeland looking for Quinn Peterson in and out of his hands. Out of bounds on the baseline. Comets take over. 6.54 left to play in half number one. 21-17. Vikings leading Mayville State. Jonathan Butler comes back into the contest for the Comets. Comets working from left to right across the court. Michael Lindsay on the inbound receives the ball right back to him. Jonathan Butler, full court press was on. Now the Vikings retreat to go play zone defense on their side. 2-3 being run by the Vikings. Tight field, just A.J. McDonald up front. Ball played back to Ethan Page. Easton Page works the right shoulder, starts to look for somewhere to go, floats at far corner. Jonathan Butler, head fakes, steps in now just inside three-point line. 12-foot jumper comes up short. Quentin Peterson grabs the board and will outlet it to A.J. McDonald. Across center court. He sets up the offense for the Vikings. Nearly catches tight fields. It's off guard, but he's able to get a hold of the ball field. Just will reset himself on the opposite end of the court as he receives the pass from McDonald. Then sends it back around the perimeter. Aaron Dusky and McDonald work the ball between themselves. McDonald streaks in left post, puts up a shot off the glass. Good for two. Seven-point night now for A.J. McDonald. Gives the Vikings 23-17 lead. Easton Page trying to answer. Josh DeWitt on the far side. Starts the work back towards the middle of the court. And we'll give it back to Page. DeWitt and Page work between themselves. Far corner. Easton Page, or excuse me, Josh DeWitt works himself into it. And will finally get free. Kicks it back out to Easton Page. Works around a screen set by Butler all the way on the right block. Puts up a shot. Rims around. Grabbed by Thiel. Just on the rebound for the Vikings. Out to A.J. McDonald. Streaking down the far sideline. Trying to get past. To wit, to wit, good defense prevents him from getting any further past the three point line. He'll send it back around the perimeter. Thiel just standing on the left wing starts in, floats it to Quentin Peterson. Peterson fouled by Josh DeWitt. There's a different there's a difference in height right there. Josh DeWitt about a foot shorter than Quentin Peterson. And DeWitt will cause the foul. As he went up, tried to get as tall as he possibly could. Take a look here on the inbound as the ball is played to Aaron Dusky. Comes down low. He loses the handle. Able to pick it back up. Turns around trying to put the shot up. He's fouled by Jonathan Butler. That will be the second of the night, I believe, against, no, first of the night against Jonathan Butler. To go back to that play between Quentin Peterson and Josh DeWitt. Quentin Peterson listed at 6'8". Josh DeWitt listed at 5'10". So nearly a foot difference there is Josh DeWitt was getting as tall as he possibly could to try and steal that ball away from Quinn Peterson resulted in his first foul and now Aaron Dusky will knock down a free throw on the first foul caused by Jonathan Butler Dusky just over 70% this year from the charity stripe for Valley City they score 24-17 with that first bucket second one ribs off to the right Colin Fitz grabs the board for the Comets Valley City will retreat to their defensive zone Cross center court is Easton Page. Page will work the ball on the far side, at least try to. It's thrown away by Aaron Dusky. Dusky all the way down the court, sends this one off the glass nonchalantly. Trying to draw the foul there was Michael Lindsay. He went down and re re basically caused Aaron Dusky to do a fadeaway. I don't know what you call it. He essentially took a step back as he was dribbling and just threw it towards the net, and well, it worked out for Aaron Dusky. Sometimes when you're on, you're on. Josh DeWitt on the far side, on the corner, works this around the perimeter. Here's Herman into the, under the basket. Colin Fitz turns around looking for Michael Lindsay. Lindsay no longer there. He was working his way under the basket as well. It results in a turnover back to the Vikings. Four minutes, 39 seconds remaining in half. Number one, Valley City leading the Comets 26-17. to Aaron Dusky on the inbound, gets it to Paxton Lloyd. And the Vikings will lead the charge down past center court to see if they can't get a few more offensive points here before halftime. Four minutes and 31 ticks of the clock is all we have left. Jeremy Ware all the way around the perimeter. Back to Easton Lloyd, standing right wing. Gives it back to Jeremy Ware. Cheyenne Native hands the ball off to Field. Just the Lamore Native now will take it around the perimeter before handing off to Easton, or East, uh, excuse me, Paxton Lloyd. Easton Page for Mayville State sets up on that far side. 2-3 zone being run by the Comets. Page maxing, marking up with East Paxton Lloyd. Lloyd will pull up from three. And uh, those two players, I hope they stop guarding each other as Lloyd misses that three-point shot because I don't know I can get their name straight anymore. 
Far side ball is worked to Andrew Berge. Worked under the perimeter, in and out of the hands of Colin Fitz. Stolen away by Andrew Dusky all the way down court. He'll take a floater. It rolls around forever and then finally comes through and will result in two more points for Aaron Dusky. He's got five on the night with that bucket. 28-17. Vikings advance their lead to 11 points. Timeout taken by Valley City State University. We will take 60 seconds. We'll come back with the rest of half number two. We'll take 30 seconds, excuse me, just a uh, short timeout. We'll take 30 seconds and be back with the rest of half number two, or number one after this on Dakota Country Radio. Have you thought about what it will take to retire the way you have always envisioned? Do you know what you'll do once you do retire? This is Tom Glant with Investment Centers of America. Let our team of wealth management experts help you find your number. Give me a call at 845-4623 or stop by my office located at Dakota Bank so we can learn more about what's important to you. Here at ICA, we've got your number. Securities, advisory services, and insurance products are offered through Investment Centers of America, Inc. Member FINRA, SIPC, a registered investment advisor, and affiliated insurance agencies. Back at W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse, men's basketball, Valley City hosting Mayville State, 339 remaining in half number one. Mayville State trailing 28-17, shot taken on the far side by Easton Page. Comes up short, Valley City's Russell Robinson grabs the board. The Vikings head the other way. Three minutes and 28 seconds as the Vikings work the ball around the perimeter. And Paxton Lloyd will set up far side, brings it back around to Matt Kroplin. Dribbles back to center court, following tightly Josh DeWitt. Zone defense being run by Mayville State. Vikings trying to break it. Russell Robinson Far side, dribbles into the post, hands off Ty Pratt, right under the basket. He can't make the bucket, though, as it comes off the right side of the rim and rebound grabbed by Colin Fitz. Fitz in, the Comets head back down, court set up offensively. Fitz under the basket as Easton Page runs the offense from the top of the point. Hands off Josh DeWitt, all the way under the baseline, kick out Andrew Berge, now to Michael Lindsay. Lindsay to Page, Page head fakes, drives all the way top of the key, bounce pass into DeWitt for three, and a violation called under the basket. I believe we're going to have a foul here. This one going to go against Andrew Berge. That will be his first of the night. I didn't see it, but it happened away from the play. Berge getting just a little too physical as he tried to create some separation and get open for the pass. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. Vikings leading 28-17, and they will have the ball in their possession once again. Ty Pratt comes out of the game in favor of Quentin Peterson. Will now work his way down court for the Vikings. A.J. McDonald brings the ball across the midcourt stripe. Sets up on the near side in front of the Comets bench. Gives the ball to Ware. He'll work it right back to A.J. McDonald. Now to Kroplin. All the way to the far side. Russell Robinson and Kroplin reverse the ball on the near side now. Colleen Texas native holds it looking inside the paint. Has nowhere to go with it. So he'll work it back to Jeremy Ware. Bounce pass into Russell Robinson. Turns around. This ball literally stood still on the rim for about two seconds before coming down. And Russell Robinson has his first two points of the night on one of the most interesting plays we've seen in a while. All the way in. Josh DeWitt will kick this out. Michael Lindsay for three. Comes up short on the try. Jeremy Ware grabs the rebound. He's got one three-point bucket already in this game. Trying for a two-pointer. He's got it. He drives all the way in off the glass. Jeremy Ware, five points in the game. One minute and 57 seconds remaining. 32 to 17. Vikings holding on to the lead here against Mayville State. Just over 90 seconds to go here in half number one. Croplin. Chasing the ball into the corner. That's where Josh DeWitt stands. He'll try and get the bounce pass to Easton Page, but it's kicked away by Matt Cropeland. Goes out of bounds into the bench. Mayville State will set up their offense. Much tamer fan uh, section here tonight than it was the last time the Vikings were at home for North Star Athletic Association play against Jamestown. Much tamer uh, fan section as well as Valley City made the trip to Mayville last time. Ball knocked away by A.J. McDonald. Easton Page tried to work the ball into the paint. All the way down the court is A.J. McDonald as he takes it all the way in off the glass. Coast to coast. McDonald's going 34 to 17. Now Vikings have the lead. One minute and 19 seconds on the clock. Easton Page top of the key looks to his left where he has David Olson instead of working to Herman. Herman and Page now working between themselves. Cropeland comes to try and cause some havoc with that idea. And now it's worked to Olson. Far side bounce pass into Fitz. He's Foul by Russell Robinson as he goes up to try and take a shot. Russell Robinson with his second foul of the game. That is the fifth of the night against Valley City. Oh, excuse me, 14th foul against Valley City. Ty Pratt checks into the game for Quint Peterson. Defensive effort being put out there by the Vikings. That's why you see Pratt on the court. One of the best defensive players for the Vikings. Gets 19th in the nation in block shots. 
And that one he had no chance at. Alex Herman on the far side hit that one all the way in the corner. So he's got his first three-pointer of the night. And Alex Herman helping Mayville State come back to within 14. As he knocked down that bucket, 5.9 for Herman. Vikings working the ball all the way around the perimeter. A.J. McDonald will slow things down, set up the offense. Russell Robinson works under the basket just in front of Colin Fitz. He'll step out to the top of the key. A.J. McDonald hands off to Aaron Dusky. Dusky on the right post, decides he's got some room. Cuts into the alley, now kicked back out. Tight Pratt off the glass, off the rim, and down for two. 36 to 20, 21 seconds remaining here in half number one. Vikings with a 36-20 advantage. You hear me say the score, Alex Herman gets the ball on the near sideline in front of the Vikings bench. He'll go back to Page. They'll work it between themselves now before Page takes over and follows Herman to the right side. All the way into the center court now. Page pulls up, gives it to Lindsay. Lindsay looking for three-point shot. Herman will have it. His time expires. Comes up short, and that's going to do it. Half number one. Different nightly specials, including their daily happy hour, Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. The pub can please everyone. So when you're looking for that perfect place to be that has unbeatable specials, great service, and entertainment, make it the Captain's Pub in Valley City. Welcome back to W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Had my cord plugged there. But we are back on the air bringing you the rest of this half. Valley City starting things off with a three-point bucket from A.J. McDonald. That's all you've missed. Mayville State works the ball into their offensive zone, trailing 39-20, to 19-point advantage for the Vikings. Looking for the baseline drive. Michael Lindsay kicks it back out. Jonathan Butler tees up from three-point range off to the right side. Ball bounces all the way back to center court where Easton Page stands. And right now, the shot clock has been reset. It wasn't supposed to be, so they are fixing that issue. And Mayville State will take the ball back out of bounds with 13 seconds remaining on the shot clock. 19-13 remaining here in half number one. Easton Page receives the inbound. He starts now into the offensive zone. Pulls up on the right shoulder. He's going to take a try at three. He's going to miss off to the right side. But David Olson there to help out his teammate. Gets the board, sends it back out to Page. Now Herman and Butler turns around at the free throw line. Sees Russell Robinson. Starts to drive to his left. Pulls up on a shot. Jonathan Butler knocks down two. He's got six in the game. Making it now a 39-22 lead for Valley City. 39-22 deficit, I suppose I should say, for Mayville State. On the inbound, A.J. McDonald brings the ball to center court, gives it off to Aaron Dusky, working in front of the Vikings bench. He'll now send it to Air Matt Crowfoot on the far side. He finds Russell Robinson, left post, puts up a shot, misses. Quentin Peterson grabs the rebound over Michael Lindsay. All the putback comes up short. Easton Page gets the board all the way down court, gives it to David Olson, denied as he drives into the paint. Russell Robinson slaps that ball away with ferocity into the hands of A.J. McDonald, who is at the three-point line trying to get the crossover. He'll be fouled in the process of breaking through. It is the first foul against Mayville State here in the half, and it is the first foul against Easton Page in the half as well. Inbound comes to Mac Croplin as he will work it to center court. He'll send it to the far side. A.J. McDonald, Alex Herman meeting up with one another. A.J. McDonald, bit of a weird pass there. Was looking for space, but Aaron Dusky not expecting it to be in space. Head fake. That gets him around. David Olson pulls all the way up into the alley. Takes a shot. Misses. But the rebound grabbed by Olson. Dusky strips it out of his hand. Spin move around Olson. Puts up the shot off to the right side. Ty Pratt battles for the ball with Michael Lindsay. Pratt wins. Gets it to Russell Robinson. Now to Dusky who puts the ball off the glass for two and draws the foul. What an all-around team effort there by the Vikings to get that two points. Yeah, Dusky's the one who gets awarded on the score sheet. Russell Robinson, however, involved. So was Ty Pratt. If it weren't for those two guys, those buckets never count. What a great team effort there by Valley City. 17 minutes and 46 seconds as Dusky steps to the free throw line. He will ready himself for a couple of tries. Or just one, actually, as he made the basket. 
first free throw and only free throw is up. Rims around off to the far side. Rebound grabbed away by the Vikings. They send it back around the perimeter. Ty Pratt to A.J. McDonald comes up short on his three-point try. And now headed down court in a hurry is Easton Page. Hands the ball off Michael Lindsay. Now Herman. Head fake down to the baseline. A.J. McDonald slips on the court. His foot gets in the way of Herman. Herman will pick the ball back up, though, and send it all the way around the perimeter once again. Here's Jonathan Butler. Left elbow takes a try from three. And, yes, he will nail it. Now Butler adding to his total. He's got nine points on the night for Mayville State. Valley City still with the lead, 41 to 25. At Cropeland, near side, in front of the Vikings bench, reverses the ball the way far side. Back to Matt Cropeland, out of the hands of A.J. McDonald. Ty Pratt, right post, sends it back out to the top. Matt Cropeland. A.J. McDonald worked the ball between themselves. Matt Cropeland finds himself with it one more time. Four for four from the night. From behind the three-point line, Matt Cropeland cannot miss. 16.44 left on the clock. 44-25. to 25. Vikings holding on to the advantage. Mayville State trying to cut into it. Colton Fitz was the intended receiver. The ball will be knocked all the way to the far side to Easton Page, though, by Ty Pratt. Now working around the perimeter one more time. Alex Herman with a try from distance. Misses. Ball's bouncing around. Justin Butler will pull down the board. Turns around and shoots from behind the three-point line. And Jonathan Butler makes it look easy as he knocks down his 12th point of the night with that bucket. Three of them, I believe, have been three-point shots. And Butler, like Matt Cropeland, right now cannot miss. Valley City loses the handle of the ball down in their offensive zone. And a foul is going to be called here against Matt Cropeland. So he was fighting to try and keep that in the Vikings' position. Jonathan Butler from behind the three-point line, two of four in this game. Matt Cropeland, a little bit better. He's four for four in the contest. Cropeland going to take a seat, though, as he was called on that last foul. And that is his first of the night. Inbound, Michael Lindsay looking for somewhere to go. Finds Andrew Berge, quick handoff to Michael Lindsay, cross center court. Not Lindsay, excuse me, on the far side of the court. That is Alex Herman. He'll work it down to Easton Page. Here's Michael Lindsay, left post, takes a shot. Nice, nice bucket over Ty Pratt. Lindsay will knock that one down. Five point night now for Michael Lindsay as the Vikings head in their offensive zone led by Paxton Lloyd Ty Field just who just checked in this game along with Jeremy Ware staying in the far side corner but right now it's Paxton Lloyd running the offense left shoulder now bring it to Jeremy Ware standing opposite side court drives in right block puts up a shot misses Dusky slaps at it Jonathan Butler will take it away from the glass Far side to Easton Page, driving all the way into the alley as the defense splits for the Vikings, drives it past Pratt. Pratt takes a slap at it, knocks the ball just enough off its target that Jeremy Ware can get the rebound. 16 minutes, 15 minutes, and 16 seconds left on the clock. Vikings with a 44-30 lead, 14 points. Jeremy Ware hands off to Ty Thiel, just looking to the left side. Instead, he goes in the middle. Aaron Dusky has the ball slapped at by Herman. Herman now to the far side as he chases the ball into the hands of Ty Pratt, sends it off the glass, two points for the Vikings. Ty Pratt with a four-point night after that bucket. Makes the score 46-30. to 30. Easton Page, far side of the court. We'll get the offense going now for Mayville State. Hands off to Herman. Herman brings it back to center on a pass to Lindsay. Now it's Berg near side in front of the Comets bench. He'll work it into the middle of the court under the basket. Jonathan Butler kicks it back out around the perimeter. Once again, Mayville State will work the ball left block. Lindsay throws it all the way into the far side corner. Once again around the perimeter. Here's a bounce pass to Lindsay. Steps up, floats it over Pratt, misses the bucket. Field just will take away the rebound from Lindsay. The Vikings will head into their offensive zone. Cross the time stripe now as Packs to Lloyd to lose the handle of the ball. No comments around him. 2-3 zone being run by the Comets defensively. Vikings working the ball around the perimeter. They've been forced to shoot those three-point shots and have had some success. Right now, however, Packs to Lloyd will work that ball into Aaron Dusky. Fakes the pass out. Finds some open room. Drives to the baseline. Into the paint. Takes a shot. Can't get it to fall. It's taken away by Easton Page. Mayville State heads into their offensive zone to reset. Easton Page, far side, standing on the Viking head. If you've ever been here, W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse, you know that set up on the far sideline and the near sideline in front of the Vikings bench and the counter of the Vikings bench on the other side of the court. Michael Lindsay on the left shoulder turns around, brings this one back up to Easton Page. Now Butler will try from three in the near side corner, misses that one. Andrew Berge able to pull down the rebound for his teammate, though. Jonathan Butler gets the handoff, heads under the basket on the baseline and uses the long arm length to get under the basket and put up two points. He's got nine in the game now. 
46 to 32. Vikings still holding on to the lead and looking to add to it. Here's Ty Field just rolls to his right, now goes back to his left, handing the ball Paxton Lloyd on the pass. He'll come back to Field just Lloyd and Field just working between themselves. Paxton Lloyd on the way in left. Post, he'll take a shot. He comes up just a bit short. Andrew Berge bites it. As he goes to the ground on the near sideline. Easton Page, however, will take control of the ball. And he's got it across center court for the Comets. Far side, he sets up on the shoulder. Looks to his right. Now will dribble the ball back to his left. At center court, gives it off to Butler. Now looking to the far corner to Herman. Herman points under the basket for Andrew Berge. And right now, Herman's trying to direct things from that far sideline. Easton Page just looks confused. So he's going to give the ball to Herman. Let him decide what to do with it offensively. Mike Michael Lindsay in the far side corner trying to drive in. Gets past Ty Thieldis, not past Ty Pratt. And a foul going to be called here. Oh, excuse me, it was a violation of travel called against Andrew Berge. As Russell Robinson, Quentin Peterson, and A.J. McDonald now check in for Valley City. Taking a seat will be Ty Thieldis, Paxton Lloyd, and Ty Pratt. Valley City on the inbound, worked the ball to A.J. McDonald. 12 minutes, 32 seconds remaining in half. Number two, 46-32. Vikings leading the comments here in the men's game. Far side, it's A.J. McDonald looking into the paint. Can't find anything. Gives it to Jeremy Ware. Works all the way around the perimeter. Quentin Peterson into Matt Cropeland. Now works the ball to Russell Robinson. Looking for Peterson on the pass. It's in and out of his hands. Out of bounds on the baseline. Comets will take over for, excuse me, no. Quinn Peterson was not the last touch. They say Colin Fitz got a hand on it, so the ball's rewarded to the Vikings. Inbound comes into Russell Robinson. A.J. McDonald, top of the key, looks to his left. He'll dribble to his right. Pulls up in front of the Vikings bench, hands the ball off to Jeremy Ware. He'll reset it to A.J. McDonald. Pulls up for three. In front of Alex Herman, misses on the shot. Josh DeWitt gets the rebound. He's down court, cross the timeline. Looks to his left where he's got Lee Dean. Dean hands off to David Olson. Tries for three, misses off the right side of the rim. Rebound grabbed by Lindsey, turns around, spin move, pass Peterson, puts up the shot. Peterson gets the block, but also a piece of Lindsey's arm. And that will result in Lindsey going to the free throw line for two. Quinn Peterson with his first foul of the game. That is the second against the Vikings. See what Michael Lindsey is able to do. On the season, 72% free throw shooter. Comets needing some points to try and cut back into this lead. He nails the first one. Six-point night for Michael Lindsay. Lindsay will tee up and try one more time here. See if he can't make it a closer bid for the Comets. Second free throw up and in. Michael Lindsay doing what he was planning on doing. 11 minutes, 52 seconds. 46 to 34. Vikings still holding on to the lead with A.J. McDonald leading the charge down. Court pulls up. On the left wing, he'll hand off to Russell Robinson. Robinson back to center court, works it to where in front of the Vikings bench. He'll send it back around the perimeter. Matt Cropeland works around a screen set by Robinson. Josh DeWitt will take Russell Robinson to the court, and that will result in Josh DeWitt's, I believe, first foul of the night here. Indeed it is. It is the second foul against the Comets here in half number two. Strike that. It is the third foul against the Comets here in half number two. Aaron Dusky checks into the game and replace Jeremy Ware. Ware takes a seat on the bench. Well-deserved seat on the bench. Jeremy Ware has a couple of three-point shots so far in this game. And he's one of two, actually, from the three-point line. Matt Crowland has hit a majority of the three-point shots he's taken. Ball works. Quinn Peterson, top of the key, looking for Aaron Dusky in and out of his hands. Colton Fitz will take the ball away. Works to the far side. Here's Lee Dean. Bounce the ball into the corner. Josh DeWitt. Now to David Olson. Right block. Turns around. Takes a shot. Ribs around. Matt Cropeland will pull away the rebound for the Vikings. And then a quick outlet to A.J. McDonald. Streaking down the near sideline. Pulls up in the corner. Trying to get around Dean. Hands off to Russell Robinson. Has the ball knocked out of his hands by Josh DeWitt. Robinson recovers. Drives the lane in the alley. Takes the shot off the glass. Good for two. Draws a foul. Russell Robinson will head to the free throw line to see if he can't get three points. Russell Robinson, not too shabby a three-point shooter this year for Valley City. 64%. See if he can't get three the old-fashioned way here. As he readies himself, bounces the ball three or four times. He'll send this one towards the rim. 
And misses off the right side. Colton Fitz grabs the rebound. He'll work it to the far side to Michael Lindsay. Excuse me, Colin Fitz grabs the rebound. Works it far side to Michael Lindsay. Back the left shoulder. Lee Dean. Bounce pass under the basket. Here's Colin Fitz. Turns around. Has the ball stripped away by Matt Crowfoot. Sends it to A.J. McDonald. McDonald all the way into the post. Drives in. Going over the head nearly of Lee Dean. And going down is A.J. McDonald. And Dean was moving. Yeah, they're going to call the foul. I'm trying to see who they're calling this one on. They're going to give it to number 23 of Mayville State. That's David Olson. Lee Dean was under the basket. He never got set. I'm surprised that's not a block. Because there was some definite contact made there between A.J. McDonald. Inbound comes to Crowland. Quick pass back to Dusty off the glass. Good for two. And he draws the foul as Mike Lindsay grabs a hold of him on the way up. First foul against Lindsay. Two more points for Aaron Dusky. He's got 10 on the game looking for 11. 70% free throw shooter and a timeout going to be taken by Dan DeWitt, the head coach of the Comets, to talk things over. It's a full. We'll take 60 seconds and be back. Comets trailing the Vikings. 50-34, 10-37 left in this game on 1490 KOVC. Giving back and being committed to the communities they serve is the Gropberg Electric Way. They're your good neighbor, striving to build long-term relationships with each and every client and community they work with. Offering industrial, residential, farm, and commercial services. Find out what they can do for you to help your company and your project succeed. Gropberg Electric, bringing together the power, the technology, and the experience that keeps your business online. Call them in Valley City at 845-3010. Are you looking for a financial representative who is different and who truly understand what's important to you? Consider Thrivent Financial for Lutherans. Our focus is helping you to be wise with money and live generous lives. Thrivent Financial and its members gave back $175 million to communities, congregations, and individuals in need in 2011. Join us to experience the Thrivent Financial difference. In Valley City, call me, Dave Bjornson, your Thrivent Financial representative at 845-2894. Registered representatives for securities offered through Thrivent Investment Management Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Welcome back to Valley City State University's campus where the Vikings host the Comets of Mayville State University tonight on Dakota Country Radio. We also welcome those of you turning in on KMAV 105.5 FM in Mayville. Right now it is the Comets trailing the Vikings by a score of 50 to 34 in this men's game. One game already in the books. Women's team coming away with a victory for the Comets 87 to 65 over Valley City State University. The Vikings men trying to avenge that loss. Dusky was fouled by Michael Lindsay as he hit a bucket there before the timeout. Misses the free throw, and it's taken away by Mayville State. They'll head down the court and set up their offense, trailing 50-34. Herman top of the key, works it to Butler. Now to Michael Lindsay, left block, starts to dribble in. Ty Pratt hasn't done of that. And he kicks him all the way to the outside. Down David Olson, bounce pass. Michael Lindsay trying again, going up. Ty Pratt will come down on top of Michael Lindsay. That will be the first of the night against Ty Pratt. It will be the fourth for Valley City State University. And headed to the free throw line will be Michael Lindsay. He is two for two from the charity stripe here tonight on this season. Michael Lindsay, he doesn't miss too much. 72% free throw shooter. As Lindsay sends the first one up and knocks it down. Continues down to his total. Strong night by Michael Lindsay. He's got eight points. A couple of Vikings checking into the game. Jeremy Ware and Quint Peterson. They replace Russell Robinson and Ty Pratt. Vikings still trailing or leading here. 50-35 to 35 over Mayville State. Lindsay trying to cut that deficit down one more time. Sends up the second free throw and he'll do so. Point by point. Lindsay trying to help bring the Comets back. 50-36 scoreboard reads now in favor of the home team. Ten minutes remaining. A.J. McDonald, far side, works to Cropeland, standing top of the key. Easton Page following him around the perimeter. It's going to be a handoff now to the clean Texas native as A.J. McDonald hands off to Jeremy Ware. Ware to the far side. Matt Cropeland brings it back to center. Quentin Peterson battles with Butler under the basket. A.J. McDonald will get a crossover around Easton Page all the way to the bucket. McDonald puts up the shot, misses off the left side. 
Michael Lindsay grabs the rebound all the way down court. He senses the far side. Alex Herman comes up short. And now on the lead pass to A.J. McDonald, he gets the ball from Aaron Dusky, but he cannot finish as he sends this one off the front of the rim. And Lindsay will grab the rebound down court. David Olson takes a try at, to deep two. Comes up short. Jonathan Butler couldn't hold on to the rebound. Jeremy Ware pulls it away from him. And Vikings will now slow down the tempo of this game. Here it is talking with head coach Jeff Kaminsky before the start of this one. One thing he does not want to do is let Mayville State get that transition offense going because they can be very deadly. Jonathan Butler puts a stop to an Aaron Dusky drive into the paint. He'll lose the ball. It's on the court. Jump ball called as Alex Herman jumps on top of it, as does Dusky for the Vikings. Nine minutes and four seconds remaining here in half number two. 50 to 36. Vikings continue to hold on to the advantage. They will lose the ball, though, as the possession arrow favors the Comets. Michael Lindsay looking for the inbound. Has Herman to his right on his left side. Coming up now is Jonathan Butler. Dusky doesn't give him much room. The inbound instead will go to Easton Page. Screen set by Lindsay allows Page to get across center court as A.J. McDonald was following him tightly, and he replaces one for the other. Now here's Matt Kropen. That had to have been close to a five-second call. Able to finally get that off to Herman. Nearly stolen away, but Herman works it to Lindsay under the basket, trying to work past Ty Pratt. And head coach Jeff Kaminsky not happy with that as Pratt's going to be hit with his second foul of the night. Jeff Kaminsky wanted a jump ball called. They said that Pratt was coming down on top of Lindsey. That was the reason for the call. And to the charity stripe once again goes Michael Lindsey, a perfect four for four tonight. Looking to make it six for six. And again, point by point, try and bring the Comets back into this game. Ball's up, rolls around. Misses off the front as the first miss tonight by Michael Lindsay in this contest. Should note as well that tonight the coaches are going barefoot. That's right, they're coaching barefoot on the court in, uh, to benefit and raise awareness for Samaritan's Feet, a nonprofit company that gives out shoes to those in need. Pretty good cause for the coaches. A little bit different feeling for the coaches out there on the court tonight as Michael Lindsay will knock down the second free throw. He's got himself 10 on the night. And brings the Comets back a little bit closer. Cutting into this deficit, 50-37. Vikings still holding on the lead. Far side, A.J. McDonald. Matt Kropen worked the ball. And Aaron Dusky now right shoulder being trapped. Easton Page and Easton Page and Andrew Berge will force that double team. Excuse me, I was trying to see the interaction there between... Aaron Dusky and head coach Jeff Kaminsky, as a timeout was called by Kaminsky, he's going to speak things over with his team. Called the timeout because he didn't think that Dusky could get out of that double team. Dusky clearly didn't want it. So he was asking his coach why he called that there. One way or another, however, Valley City will be on the bench. We had a, a couple of people notice for the first time when Kaminsky made that call that he was not wearing shoes. So... A lot of people unaware of the Good Samaritans or the Samaritans uh, project here that is trying to put feet, shoes on the feet of those who need them. Inbound for Valley City comes to the far side. Here's A.J. McDonald driving all the way in the paint. Quick kick out. Matt Kropa tries for three. First one he's missed tonight. A.J. McDonald there to help out his teammate. And then looks for Kropa on the far side. There was no Kropa. Nobody was there. A.J. McDonald sends it all the way down the court. And uh, McDonald looks a little upset. But I don't know how he didn't see that no one was there. Because Matt Kropa was literally standing next to A.J. McDonald when he tried to make that pass to the far corner. Valley City will lose possession of the ball. Mayville State takes over. Here's Jonathan Butler just inside the free throw line. Ten-foot jumper rolls around, falls through for two more. Big night for Jonathan Butler. He's got himself 16 points. 50-39. Vikings holding on to the lead. But Mayville State threatening to close it to within 10. AJ McD or Aaron Dusky, excuse me, under the basket. And right now, Dusky cannot miss. He sends this one up. Michael Lindsay's going to be called on the foul here. Looked like he got a piece of the ball. Looked like he was going to prevent it, but an odd spin put that ball right back into the basket. So Dusky hits the two-point shot. He's got himself 12 in the game thus far, and he's going to head to the free throw line for another opportunity. Misses this one off the back of the rim. A 70% free throw shooter having his struggles here tonight as Dusky misses that one. He's currently one for five on the night from the charity stripe. Hand off from the Easton Page to Alex Herman. Far side. 
52-39, Vikings leading the Comets under the basket, losing the handle. Michael Lindsay, it comes off of the knee of Jeremy Warren out of bounds at the scorer's table. So that is where Mayville State will take over, allows the defense of the Vikings to reset. Ty Pratt comes into the game. So will Ty Fields just. Quinn Peterson and Matt Croplin will head to the bench as Mayville State sets up offensively. In their offensive zone, handoff on the far side. Alex Herman comes back out. Andrew Berge works it all the way around the perimeter. Head fake by Herman. Steps up, takes a shot from behind the three-point line. Foot must have been on it because that was about as far a two-point shot you can take before it becomes those three-point plays. Alex Herman knocks that one down. Seven-point night for himself. Cuts back in the lead once again, making an 11-point contest. 52-41. Vikings leading with 7.03 left on the clock. They work the ball around the perimeter now in their offensive zone. Ties the just works the ball to Dusky, standing in the paint, kicks it back out. All the way around the perimeter to Jeremy Ware, tries for three, comes up short. Alex Herman, the lone comment around, grabs the rebound and streaks down that far sideline, brings it down to the near side in front of his own bench, giving it to Berge. Now Herman will reset, floats it over Ty Thiel just to Jonathan Butler. Butler steps in, right block, feeds it to Berge off the glass for two. Andrew Berge with his fourth point of the night, but a big four points as it now cuts it to a single-digit game. Nine points, the Vikings leading by 52-43. to 43. They had led in this game big time at halftime, and right now the Vikings finding themselves in a bit of a struggle. Far side, Jeremy Ware works the wing into Ty Pratt on the baseline, kicked out. Ty Thiel just for three. Yes, big hit from the Lamore, former Lamore Lobo. As he sends that one down for big three points, one that Valley City certainly needed. As Thiel just has his first three points of the game. Slow offense being worked now by the Comets. Easton Page finds the baseline open, drives it all the way into the basket, sends it off the glass for two. Cuts it now to a ten-point deficit for Mayville State. Easton Page's first two points of the night. Cross center court, here's A.J. McDonald. He's on the far sideline, hands it off to Ty Thiel, just resets the offense. Ball will come back to McDonald, looks past Berge, gets around a screen set by Dusky. On the near sideline, Easton Page and Berge forcing A.J. McDonald all the way to the baseline. Butler gets a block on that one. The ball sent back out, though, as Mayville State tries to save it from the baseline, and it comes to Dusky. So the Vikings will catch a break as they reset their offense. Two seconds on the shot clock, driving all the way in is Thiel, just in Butler. Now not one block, but two. Is Thiel, Thiel just could not get to that basket, could not take that shot, and could not make it. So big play there by jo Jonathan Butler to deny not just A.J. McDonald, but Ty Thiel just and create the shot clock violation. Mayville State gets the ball on the inbound. Alex Herman out towards center court. Will pull up, looks to his right, all the way down to the baseline. Now he's going to drive into the paint in the alley, takes a shot. Ty Pratt takes a swat, can't get to it, but the shot's missed. Austin Rambo, who's just checked into the game for the Vikings, pulls down the rebound. A.J. McDonald slows things down as he just comes across the midcourt stripe. He'll take a step back. Andrew Berge looking to try and trap him on that corner. A.J. McDonald starts to take a step back. And now he'll pass it off to Jeremy Ware nonchalantly. Ware back to A.J. McDonald all the way across court, left elbow. He's going to drive all the way in the alley, feeds it out Ty Pratt. Now to Ty Thiel just for three. Comes up short on the try. Easton Page grabs the rebound, takes a hit from Austin Rambo, then from A.J. McDonald. Page going to pick up the ball. He's going to start dribbling now. And a timeout going to be called by Mayville State. We'll take a timeout as well. 55-45, Vikings leading the Comets here with four minutes and 26 seconds remaining. We'll take 60 and be back with the rest of half number two next on Dakota Country Radio. Miller Motors, your five-star dealer in Valley City, has the perfect vehicle for you. Come shop their huge selection of new and used vehicles, and they'll help you get exactly what you're looking for. Don't waste your time shopping around when there is just one easy stop to make. Miller Motors in Valley City, your Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, Jeep dealer. Give them a call at 845-2780 or check them out on the web at MillerMTRS.com. That's Miller Motors, located on West Main, Valley City. 
At Investment Centers of America, we believe when it comes to managing your financial affairs, the more help you can get, the better off you'll be. That's why when you work with ICA, you have a whole team of financial experts at your disposal to review your financial situation and make pertinent recommendations designed to help you achieve your goals. This is Tom Glant. Call me today at 845-4623. I look forward to putting our wealth management team to work for you. Securities, advisory services, and insurance products are offered through Investment Centers of America, Inc. Member FINRA, SIPC, a registered investment advisor and affiliated insurance agencies. Live from W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse tonight on the campus of Valley City State University. College basketball is the word right now. The Vikings holding on to a 10-point lead over Mayville State in the second half with just 4 minutes and 26 seconds remaining. We welcome those of you listening on KMAV as well. Valley City will head back to their defensive zone. They will get ready as the inbound will come here for Mayville State. Jonathan Butler getting ready to do the duty. As the inbound comes, Easton Page breaks free past A.J. McDonald. They'll work towards center court pull up. A.J. McDonald chasing him all to the far side. Now it's going to come to Jonathan Butler on the near side. Works into the corner in front of the Comets bench. And under the basket, Austin Rambo is going to be called for using his forearm to trying to create a little bit of trouble. And that will result in the... Fifth team foul for the Vikings. That is the first against Austin Rambo of the game. Inbound for Mayville State. Comes out Jonathan Butler for three. That would be a big shot, but it's off the front of the rim and into the stands. However, Valley City, the last to touch it is, I think, Jeremy Ware was trying to get that rebound. Just nicked it with his finger. And now Austin Rambo will check out of the game as Russell Robinson checks in. Robinson. Trying to have some fun with Austin Rambo as he uh, comes out of the game. Still a close contest, but sometimes you need that out of a player. Make sure he's loose when he heads in. Russell Robinson certainly is. Easton Page turns around, spinner up and in over A.J. McDonald. Four-point night for Easton Page. Now 55-47 is the score. Just an eight-point game as Valley City sets up offensively. Ty Pratt under the basket on the baseline, looking to get back to Robinson. Stolen away by Jonathan Butler out to the far side. Herman works the ball back into the middle. Page to Berge, now back to Page. Resetting the offense, he'll give it to Berge. Left shoulder in front of the Comets bench. Work to Lindsey. Lindsey looking baseline, driving baseline. Pulls up in the paint. Ty Pratt forces the shot, and he blocks it, but gets called for the foul. And Pratt doesn't like it. The fans at W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse don't like it. And now the uh, chance coming down on the official is they do not like this one. This is about as loud as I have heard the crowd get here tonight. And uh, the booze raining down on the poor officials. I always thought this is the one job I don't know that uh, you could pay enough money to. Fans certainly not liking it. Lindsey certainly not the guy you want to put on the line as he knocks down the first free throw. We mentioned several times tonight, Lindsey, 72% shooter. Second free throw goes up. Lindsey knocks that down. Three minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. 55 to 49. The Vikings holding on to the lead, but it's now just six points. A.J. McDonald, far side, looking to set up the offense, brings it back to Matt Cropeland. Cropeland dribbles right back left, gives it back to Dusky, or A.J. McDonald, now Dusky, far side. Quentin Peterson rifles it to Matt Cropeland. He's hit four three-pointers in this game. Bounce pass into Russell Robinson, comes up short on his try. Quentin Peterson grabs the board, though, sends it back out. Reset the clock to 35 seconds on the shot. A.J. McDonald, double team, gets past both Herman and Page all the way to the basket, draws the foul, makes the bucket, Matt makes the bucket, and that's a big-time play by a big-time player there for Valley City. Slow to get up as he took a hard hit from Michael Lindsay. Excuse me, Jonathan Butler was the recipient of the foul. And limping to the free throw line is A.J. McDonald. McDonald on the night with 14 points, looking for his 15th. It would be a gigantic 15th point as it would make it a nine-point game, help the Vikings out a little bit, 253 left. Shot is up and good. A.J. McDonald will do what he needed to do. 
15 points in the game now for McDonald. Paxton Lloyd will check in for the Vikings. Let the junior from Colleen, Texas, rest up a bit. Get that ankle back in shape as Kaminsky will be turning to him later in this game. Pass nearly comes over the head of Easton Page. Page able to pull it down. Works the ball to the left side. Andrew Berge looking for somewhere to go. Works the top of the key. Jonathan Butler all the way in. Loses the handle on the ball as he steps in the paint. Able to retrieve it. Turns around from the right block. Takes a try. And he'll miss off to the right side. Matt Kropen pulls down the board for the Vikings. To the far side now. Matt Kropen working with... Paxton Lloyd into Russell Robinson, fed back to Matt Kroplin, handoff to Ty Pratt. Pratt will reset the offense as he sends it out to Aaron Dusky. Far side now, Matt Kroplin looks at the three, thinks better of it, drives baseline, puts up the shot, gets fouled. The process will head to the stripe for two. Matt Kroplin has already knocked down 12 points in this game. Majority of those have come from behind the three-point line. And a big night for North Star Athletic Association basketball. 59-44 right now. University of Jamestown leads Presentation College. So depending on the output of this one, or outcome I should say of this one, depending on who comes away with the victory, one thing it would certainly help the Vikings to have Presentation College win that game as Matt Kropla knocks down the second free throw. He's got 13 points in the contest. Adding to the lead here becomes an 11-point advantage for the Vikings once more into double digits. Easton Page on the far side. This was a 10-point game last time these two squads met. 69-59, the final of that one. Could be headed for a similar outcome here tonight, if not closer. Ball worked around the perimeter. Jeremy Ware takes a swat at it. Misses. Herman gets the ball. Tees up for three. Comes up short. Rebound grabbed by Lindsey. Back out to Herman. Into the corner. Easton Page drives baseline from about three feet. Tries a shot. Ty Pratt knocks the ball away. Now Herman gets it. Floats it over Pratt. And in for two points for the Comets. And we're back to a single-digit game. Nine points separating Valley City and Mayville State. One minute and 46 seconds remaining. 30-second timeout. We'll be back with the rest of this game on 1490 KOVC after this. To demonstrate the speed and maneuverability of our Dixon Zero turning radius mowers, we're recording this commercial while cutting an actual lawn. As you can hear, Dixon Zero turn feature allows me to move left and quickly back to the right. And if I go full speed ahead, you can tell this mower's got some giddy up. Dixon's ETR, cutting hours into minutes. See your local Dixon dealer, SNS Auto Electric in Valley City. Welcome back to W. Osmond Fieldhouse, Valley City, hosting Mayville State. Men's basketball action right now, just a nine-point game. Valley City leading 60-51. Hey, Matt Douglas with you tonight on Dakota Country Radio. One minute and 46 seconds remaining in the contest. Air Dusky looking deep down court, thinks better of it, hands it off to A.J. McDonald, far sideline. He's around three Mayville State defenders all the way into the paint. He'll retreat right behind him as Michael Lindsay takes a swat at the ball, and now Andrew Berge's going to be hit with a foul. And that will result in some free throws here, as that is the 10th against the Comets. Double bonus for Valley City. A.J. McDonald will get a couple of tries. He steps to the free throw line, 59%. Shooter hasn't... He's been one for one here tonight. Donald takes the first free throw, sends it up and in. Two for two. McDonald perfect on the night so far from the stripe. Ty Pratt checks in the game. Defensive point. Quinn Peterson will come out. See a lot of that from the Vikings. Jeff Kaminsky utilizing his defense. A.J. McDonald second free throw. Three for three on the night as he sends that one down. That'll bring Paxton Lloyd in. Once again, for defensive point, Jeff Kaminsky will utilize his guys. Try and get defensive players into matchup. Try and prevent a opportunity at some points. Inbound, coming in from Michael Lindsay, getting it to Easton Page, far sideline. He'll come down the court, staying right there. Hands off to Herman. Herman resets, top of the three-point line. Gives it to David Olson. Olson looking somewhere to go. Will lose the handle on the ball. Comes down Michael Lindsay there to help his teammate out. Picks up the ball. Starts back towards the Vikings defense. Coming out is Matt Kroplin. He'll force the pass off to Easton Page. Now to Herman. Into Lindsay on the bounce pass in the paint. And he is fouled by Ty Pratt. That's going to be the fourth against Pratt. 
That is the seventh foul against the Vikings. Now the bonus is on for Mayville State. One minute, 14 seconds remaining. And Lindsey has not missed much from the strike tonight. Lindsey, seven for eight. Make that eight for nine. He'll have one more try. All the players to foul, to get fouled the most, Michael Lindsey. Obviously, there's a reason for that. Actually, no other player other than Andrew Berge has been fouled. He's had three shots in the game, and Jonathan Butler's had two. Lindsey has had 11. And he's knocked down 10 of those 11. As Lindsey gets that last bucket and bucket, he continues to add to his total. Deep down court is Jeremy Ware receives the pass on the inbound and is fouled by Andrew Berge. That will send Ware to the free throw line, and the Michael Lindsey of the Vikings now will step to the charity stripe because Jeremy Ware does not miss much. When he gets an opportunity to shoot free throws, he likes to take it. On the year thus far, he is 82% from the stripe. Coming out of the game is Easton Page checking into the contest. Or excuse me, Easton Page is going to go talk things over with his coach. And Ware misses that. Ware's missed his last three free throws. Missed two the other night against Presentation College. Sends this one off the front of the rim. We'll see what Ware can do here as he sends up the second. Rims around again. Uncharacteristic of Jeremy Ware. He's missed his last four free throws. So he's 0 for 2 tonight. Vikings leading by just 9 points, 62-53. Here's Mayville State with an opportunity to cut in the lead. Easton Page under the basket, misses. Now he's denied by Aaron Dusky, and Dusky's called for a foul. Not much argument against Dusky. That will send Easton Page to the free throw line. We haven't seen Page yet from the charity stripe. On the season, Page just a 67% shooter. Valley City will hope he misses a couple of these. The Comets, again, trailing by just single digits here. Nine points, three-point possession. Page misses the first free throw. 0 for 1 on the night is Page. As a team, right now, Mayville State, 13 of 16. Excuse me, 13 of 15 from the free throw line. Jonathan Butler's a perfect 2 for 2. Michael Lindsay, 9 of 10 on the night. Second free throw goes up off the back of the rim. Jonathan Butler fighting for it, and into the stands is Easton Page, and he hit hard. Took out about three rows of students and the fans, and a timeout going to be called by head coach Jeff Kaminsky as Valley City will have the inbound. Aaron Dusky on the far sideline. Vikings leading by just nine points, 62 to 53. This will be a full timeout. We'll take 60 seconds. When we return, we wrap this one up. 58 remaining. 62-53. Vikings leading the Comets men's basketball on Dakota Country Radio. The John Deere Seating Group of Valley City is a proud supporter of local athletics. For 175 years, John Deere has been dedicated to those linked to the land, never outgrowing nor forgetting its founders' core values. Integrity, quality, commitment, and innovation. Those values determine the way we work to offer unsurpassed products and treatment to our valued customers and why we continue to support the community of Valley City and the surrounding areas. From everybody at John Deere Seating Group, we look forward to another 175 great years. When you're looking for a company with the experience you can trust, turn to the experts at Kona Electric. Put our years of experience to work for you. Whether your needs are commercial, residential, industrial, or for the farm, we've got you covered. We have 24-hour service available for when you need us most. For more information and a free estimate, call Cohen Electric at 845-6887 today. Welcome back to W.E. Osmond Fieldhouse Men's Basketball. Mayville State in the Vikings' home court right now. Valley City leading by just nine points as they get ready to inbound the ball. Jonathan Butler in front of Dusky trying to make sure there's no inbound. He will find A.J. McDonald who immediately gets fouled by Josh DeWitt. And that will send A.J. McDonald who is a perfect three for three in the game so far to the charity stripe for a couple of shots. Vikings in the double bonus. That was the 11th foul against Mayville State. And that is the third against Josh DeWitt. So Josh DeWitt receiving his third foul. Still two more to give, and we'll see if uh, the Comets don't use them here. A.J. McDonald sends this one up and in. 
And I don't know what it is about Bayville State. They certainly get up for playing against Valley City State University. They've had some struggles. Actually, just lost in their last game to Presentation College. Well, Jamestown before that to Presentation College by one point. So clearly a team that can compete here in the North Star is up and in. A.J. McDonald sends it. So he is a perfect 5-for-5 five five so far in this game. Josh DeWitt with the ball on the left wing. Starts back into center court looking for Easton Page. Bounce pass to him now. Past the hands of an outreach. Matt Kroplin driving all the way in to Easton Page. He's going to be fouled and will step to the free throw line for two shots. He was fouled going up. The foul will come against Matt Kroplin. That will be his second of the day. And again, it is the ninth foul called against Valley City State University. Wouldn't matter. Either way, it's two shots. Easton Page struggled last time. He stepped to the line. Missed both. He starts by missing the first one here. Quinn Peterson checks in the game now for Valley City. More offensive setup for the Vikings. Peterson on the right block. Sets himself in, looking to try and get to a rebound if there is one. Easton Page misses. Butler gets the board off the heel of the rim, and Quentin Peterson, that's why you put him in, gets the rebound out to Matt Kroplin now. who's across center court. We'll head to the free throw line 4-2. 11th foul of the game. That's going to be on Josh DeWitt, I believe, again. So that will be his fourth foul. DeWitt, no points in the game yet but does have four fouls. Played a hunk of time. He's been in there more defensively. Dan DeWitt almost using Josh in the same style as Matt Kroplin sends that first free throw down, and Matt Kroplin has had one heck of a game, 15 points thus far. As Matt Kroplin hits that first free throw. It's two for two from the free throw line. Coming into that, two shots. Now he's four for four. And he's got 20 points. Nope, excuse me, that's A.J. McDonald. Matt Croplin has 16 points. Far side, Easton Page works the ball for the Comets. Pulls up at the Viking head, brings it back to center court. Double team is on Matt Croplin. Jeremy Ware forcing the pass out. Josh DeWitt all the way into the paint. Looks to kick it back out to Easton Page. He loses the handle. Matt Croplin will grab it away. Far sideline, he's across center court. Josh DeWitt takes a swat at the ball, takes a swat at Matt Croplin. And that is the night Josh DeWitt will have as he fouls out and sends Matt Croplin to the free throw line. Dan DeWitt talking things over with Josh DeWitt. That is the... Tenth team foul now against Mayville State. Kroplin a perfect four for four from the stripe on the season this year for Valley City. He's been a solid free throw shooter. He's had his struggles here and there. More recently he's hit him. 55% on the season. Kroplin says the first free throw up. It's off the front of the rim. Comes back to him. Austin Rambo will check into the game. Replace Aaron Dusky. Give the Vikings a little more height. 66-53, Vikings leading by 13. Aaron Dusk, or excuse me, Matt Croplin takes second free throw, sends it in, and Matt Croplin will be rewarded with a little time on the bench. Adam Kruger will check back into the game as he'll relax, 18 seconds. Adam Kruger went a perfect four for four in the Vikings' last game against Crossroads College helping the Vikings defeat the Knights in that game and jump past 500. It's a great shooting night all the way around by Valley City in that contest. And here's a great shot by Jonathan Butler, who drains another three. 19-point night for Jonathan Butler, and now a foul called against Andrew Berge, his fourth foul of the night. And send Valley City right back down the court. Jeremy Ware will take a couple of free throws. Doesn't typically miss. Struggled a little bit here tonight. 0 for 2 thus far makes his first one. So that will help add to the lead. Jeremy Ware with a six-point night. And sends it back up and in. 12-point game, 13-point game now. Once again for Valley City, 69-56. Cross-center court, Easton Page pulls up with four seconds left. Kicks out Jonathan Butler, takes three-point try, knocks it down. And Butler continues to add to his total. As he finishes with 22 points here in this contest, the buzzer.